Okay, um, I'm here uh, with Hiroyuki Odagiri, who is one of the, uh, the expert panelists for our hearing on market concentration. Um, just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, Hiroyuki, mm -hmm. if that's okay. Of course. Um, so, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the, the evidence on trends in concentration in Japan? Well, it's uh, actually a difficult question because uh, the statistics, I think, is uh, somewhat problematic. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually two uh, statistics on concentration ratio, the JFTC data and the census data. Mm -hmm. uh, the JFTC data has a long history and uh, it's uh, uh, calculated every year until 2014. Uh, but the, the coverage of the industry is uh, somewhat limited and uh, biased to uh, concentrated industries. Mm -hmm. But the other one is uh, the census data. Uh, but I, it is uh, made by the Ministry of uh, uh, Economy, Trade and Industry. But the, the ministry, I understand, they do calculate uh, the concentration ratio, but uh, the results were published just for two years, 2008 and 2010. Uh, so, uh, in that sense, uh, uh, both statistics are not uh, complete. Uh, so, uh, but uh, as far as I can look at from those uh, data, uh, mm -hmm. the, the census data says that the, between 2008 and 2010, there were more industries uh, with uh, increased concentration rather than the decreased concentration ratio. Uh, the JFTC data seems to suggest there's some uh, gradual uh, increase in concentration ratio, but not very significant. Uh, so, uh, uh, as I understand it, that the, in the United States there's a fairly clear upward trend in the concentration ratio, but uh, compared to that, uh, Japan is somewhat different. Sure. It's uh, more unclear and more gradual, uh, okay. if there was any increase at all. Sure, sure. Yes. Okay. And how does that fit with other sort of indicators of competitive intensity in, in Japan? Well, uh, I can quote the one study made mm -hmm. uh, by the JFTC's uh, Competition Policy Research Center, mm -hmm. CPRC. Mm -hmm. And in there, they looked at the, the mobility or instability of the, the ranking of the companies. So they questioned whether the top firm in, uh, in one year is going to be the top firm in the next year again. I see, uh, I see. Okay? And then uh, they looked at uh, somehow 200 or 300 industries for the period of uh, 1991 to 2010, for the period of 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they found that the, the probability that the number one farm stays with being the number one farm in the next year mm -hmm. is something like 12%. Uh, uh, okay. Whether it's uh, large or small, <laughs> that's a difficult know. question. <laughs> But the, the other result that they found is the, 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 the same result for the top three firms. Okay. That is, the, whether the top one, top one, two, top two, top three firms all remain as top one, top two, top three firms in next year. Yeah. Uh, that probably turned out to be 60%. Uh, so uh, in 40% of the cases, uh, one of those, at least one of those, uh, number okay. one, two, three, change their positions. Uh, my feeling, my personal opinion, is that yeah. uh, there's certain instability there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in that sense, I think there is also some competitive uh, power working yeah. on. It. That is my feeling. Okay. okay. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got um, concentration possibly increasing a little bit, maybe signs of, mm -hmm. but signs of healthy, healthy sort of churn, if you like, at the top of some of these things. Possibly, um, and uh, yeah, basically, I, I would say that uh, you have to look at the case by case for mm. each industry for the details, uh, particularly because the concentration ratio data, um, not just in Japan but in everywhere, it's, it's somewhat a problematic. Uh, uh, statistics to view the the real uh, competitive situation of a particular market as mm. defined by the competition policy. Of course, of course. So in that sense, uh, I would very much uh, recommend that uh, we look at the each market more in detail. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much, Hiroyuki. You're welcome.